Smudge defined. As a noun, a dirty mark or smear. Yeah. What is happening, my fellow artistes? It's great to see you guys again. I hope your guys' holiday season was everything that you guys want it to be, and I hope that your new year is awesome. <laughs> like, I didn't know that. Welcome back to another Tip Off Tuesday. This week, it's all about smudgers. So what are these guys actually good for? Smudgers, also known as tortillons, <laughs> it's a French word, blending stumps to the rest of us, are pretty much exactly what they sound like. Wicked cool blending tools. Hey, that rhymed. Now in our opinion, these little guys are great for getting into those really small areas without accidentally blending charcoal into white space. For example, when you start to blend your charcoal around an eye, these little smudgers will be your best friend. But enough talk, let me show you what I mean. These come in a variety of different sizes. This piece specifically, um, I like to use thicker smudgers for blending uh, larger areas. So like you see here on this eye, I would use something of this size um, for the top of this eyeball. I wouldn't want to use something like this for like the eyelashes. I would use something of this size for you know the top here or along the bottom. Uh, here, I'll show you. So as you can see, you just use the same motion. Do uh, tight circles if you want, or um, you can zigzag back and forth if you want. It all kind of depends. Each type of motion is going to give you a, a, a different uh, a different result. Um, you know, if you press a little harder, you're going to get a little darker. You know, if you press a little lighter, you know, obviously it's going to be a little softer for you. Now the thinner ones, like these little guys, are perfect for going into tighter places. It just, it gives you more control. You know, with your finger, you can go in and you can manipulate these eyelashes, give them a little bit more dimension if you want, um, you know, fluff them up a little bit. You're gonna be uh, softening maybe, say, like the base of these eyelashes or something like this. It's all about control. The smaller the smudger, the more control you typically have depending on exactly what kind of look it is that you're going for. So that is it guys, that is your tip off for this Tuesday. Now for you guys that don't already have smudgers, we provided the link down below where you can pick up some really affordable ones. Be sure to pick some up, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell if you guys wanna be notified when our next video comes out, and we will see you in the next one. Dilly dilly.